Okay guys, this is Kate and I'm picking up, this is part two of my December daily or December documented or however you want to call it. Um, I've already shown pages one through 13 in the previous video so you can check that out if you're interested. And I'm going to start with day 14. And I mentioned before, but if you haven't seen it, then I'll let you know. Um, I have post-it notes on the days that I don't have numbers in yet. And where I do have numbers, like this is just floating in here. So I can always take, I can always change the number if I need to, but I can always move this if day 13 ends up somewhere else for some reason, or I need to change it. I mean, who knows? So nothing is really stuck down or permanent is what I'm trying to say. Same thing with day 15. I don't have anything on here. Day 16, this is on the actual page protector. So I can, you know, if I need to shuffle cards around or anything like that, I can do that. But they're not, I mean, you know, thickers don't stick all that great anyway. So they're super easy to move. And then day 17, I have like a one and a seven wood veneer in this pocket because I want to use that. But in case it falls out, I marked it. And then here I just have a little gold um, label and I really want to use this joy wood veneer on this paper. So I stuck it there. For day 18, which is a Thursday, this is just an insert that I um, cut to make a four by six card with a vertical orientation because there really aren't any in these page protectors. And I just stuck a piece of vellum back there because I thought it would be a good backing. And I left the option of having eight that this be for both days. I can always just put one photo in and leave the back blank if I want to. So I marked this one for day 19 and it's just four cards. And same thing with day 20. I don't have anything marking it. Again, this is day 21 and this is on the outside of the page protector. So I could always move things around if I need to. Um, and 22, I haven't really, it's just the back side. 23, again, because there's no um, horizontal four by three cards in these page protectors, I just made my own um, with some washi tape and a different page protector. And then the back is day 24. I, for Christmas Eve, I, I left um, these two spaces and then these are two four by three and a four by six and then the back side also because I know that Christmas Eve, I'll take a lot of pictures. And then for Christmas Day, I couldn't decide what to do with it. So this will be like the title page for it. This is a six by eight size. So I just kind of put some things in but didn't mark anything or didn't use any embellishments because I just, I don't know, but I know I'll have a lot of photos. So I love this paper. It's an old paper from Studio Calico with the presents on it. I thought it's so cool. And then this is a bunch of tiny writing that has all different kinds of Christmas words. And then this I love too. It says, meet me under the mistletoe. And then I just left the back side of that card as a gray grid pattern. So I just used that. And then here I just have a holiday spirit wood veneer and just one sticker. And then I have a whole slew of page protectors back here. So. I have plenty to add in if I need to add in. And I will continue this all the way through New Year's and probably a little bit after because we're going to Miami um, on the 30th of December, I believe. The 30th to like the 2nd, I think. And my brother's band is playing a show for New Year's Eve in Miami. So I know I'll have tons of photos and we're hanging out with like, my dad's from Cuba, so we have tons of Cuban relatives in Miami and it's going to be like a big huge party. So I know that I'll have plenty of photos to um, go all the way through probably January 2nd. So I of course will never use all these page protectors but I just pulled them out of every single handbook that I have and all the extra ones that I have from the Becky Higgins books that I store my stamps in. These are all the extra ones too. So I just wanted to have lots of options. So that is my December documented or December daily so far. And in the previous video, I showed kind of how I'm going to um, embellish it and what I'm going to use. I showed my little container with all of my little goodies in it. And I'm going to show one more thing, which is a thing that I got on clearance probably a year or two ago from Hobby Lobby. And it's this like big container. It has two drawers in the bottom and then it has two compartments to put stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of show you what I have in here. And then you can see kind of where I'm going. So this is kind of like my scraps little area. So it has like the, as I take the post-its off, 
Um, I throw them in here. It has some frames in it, some um, wax paper for putting stickers down, and then like just leftover bits of papers that I've cut up because I do cut up a lot of papers and some tags. It's, it's kind of it's kind of a hodgepodge really. So what's in there? Just the catch-all. Um, and then I'll keep my little December chart that I made in there. And then this one is just a bunch of little embellishments that I took out of packaging. Um, some, and like this is a sticker that I took the sticky off of. Just a whole bunch of different stuff. Some doilies that I painted and little like one stickers that I have left. You know, just random, random things. And then I have, um, a bunch of four by six cards and some of these are like um transparencies this is a whole book of transparency um some of them are vellum that i cut apart like from the papers that came in like the hip kit december documented and then some are just um pattern paper that i like that i thought i would use so these are like pattern this is old um like this is from the hip kit and then some papers from Gossamer Blue and some papers from Studio Calico um, Passbook. So that's all four by six. And I can always cut those down to three by four if I want to, which I do do a lot. And then for three by four cards, I have a lot more pattern paper that's cut up. And I just kind of went through all of my Project Life cards and pulled out ones that I thought that I would use like this one says books and coffee and inevitably during the holiday season I always find myself in a bookstore with coffee so and have hot chocolate <laughs> and like this one is super cute I love that one and then again some from um different things I, I've shown a lot of this this is some more letter press that I did with gold embossing powder which is awesome and then just a bunch of different stuff um so I keep all that kind of in the front and then I just have some different um, embellishments. Oops. Whoa. How oh, everything just takes a tumble. Um, sorry, guys. I do have some different, like, frames and um, things I cut on the cameo and little pockets and stuff and tags. I used a lot of what I had in there already. Um, just some stickers and um, these are really cool. A girl um, on Facebook who lives in Spain, I'm not even showing this stuff, that lives in Spain sent these. She sent, I think like four or five different types of cards. These are the ones that I'm definitely want to use. The other ones I'm probably gonna send to friends cause they're so cute. I love this little like hipster reindeer. So I will definitely find a place for these in my December project. So I really like those. Um, just some st different stick, just, you've seen most of this. So I just keep that all kind of in this, um, in this thing. I have some pockets and some flare and some, um, enamel. And I have some older stuff. A, a lot of the stuff is from past hip kits. Um, like a lot of these alphabets are from past hip kits. Just... You, if you just go through your stash, you can find so much stuff that you can use for December. Uh, for a December daily or December um, documented or whatever kind of project you're doing. So I really encourage you to, to do that because I found a lot of what... I have a lot of Christmas themed stuff and I have two full complete kits. Um, one is the hip kit December documented and one is the Gossamer Blue kit. So I do have a lot of theme stuff, but if you look at my album, you will notice that a lot of it is not in here. <laughs> like there's not a whole lot of super Christmassy theme stuff. This is from a class um, kit, but this is not Christmas. I mean, a lot of it is very just generic. Like all of this, none of this is Christmas. I don't even think these came from Christmas collections, these two cards. Um, so, you know, you can make a lot of it work, which I think is super fun. And I like that, I think that an album, um, I find too much um, stuff can be distracting when I'm looking at an album. So I really like that, that this one kind of has a lot of different colors in it, but it still 
flows really well and I'm just really excited about how it turned out and I can't wait to add my pictures and finish it. So thanks guys so much for watching and I would love to see how your December pro projects are coming along even though it's not even December yet I can't believe it. Um, but I will talk to you all real soon and thanks for watching and I will have links to all the supplies or most whatever supplies I can find that are still available or that you can buy like individually I'll have links for below and check them out. I'll also do a blog post on this. Okay guys, thanks for watching.